After signing up and creating your Dotloop account, you will now be able to access all documents that have been shared with you at any time. Not only can you use your Dotloop account to store your files, you also have a wide range of tools and features at your disposal. Upon logging in, you will see all the transactions or loops you are involved in. Clicking on a loop will take you into that loop where all documents, people, tasks associated with that transaction are listed. On this page, you can view all documents that have been shared with you, send messages to any party involved in the transaction, or review tasks that your agent needs you to complete. Also, while navigating through your loops, you may also see trusted service providers. Trusted service providers are individuals entrusted by your agent or your agent's company who commonly work to provide services in a wide range of fields such as moving, mortgage, and insurance. If you wish to collaborate with them on your transaction, just click on the corresponding picture of the service you are inquiring about. This will send you a message to their email address notifying them. You can view any document in a loop by clicking on the document's title. To open up multiple documents, simply place a checkmark to the left of the document name and click the Open button located above the folder. The document will immediately open and you can review, edit, or sign at your own pace. Once finished, simply click the Save button to keep any changes and then click the Back button located at the top left of the document. Return to your main loop page by clicking Back to My Loops in the top left corner. This page is called your loops page, and on this page you can see every transaction you've been involved in on Dotloop. If you wish to change the settings on your account or sign out, you will want to hover over the furthest right icon on the top right of your page. This is the profile icon. Doing this will display a drop down menu. At the bottom of this menu, you can choose to either sign out or navigate to your My Account page. Once on the My Account page, click Settings located on the left side of the page. Within the settings page, you will see you can change the personal information on your account such as your name, e-sign name, password, and or the email address associated with your account. If you do make any changes, be sure to click the save button located at the bottom right of this page.